What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossBarTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Now I have something exciting to show you guys. This right here. This is the Google AI Y voice kit. These are really hard to find, by the way. I had to go to my local micro center. Thank God they had it. You can't order them online. Most of the places you get them online, they're sold out. But I recommend you guys check out your local micro center if you have one near you and uh, find out if they have it. I'll leave a link in the description. If you don't know, this kit will turn your Raspberry Pi into a Google Assistant. This does not come with the Raspberry Pi. It comes with everything else. We're gonna do a full unboxing. We're gonna set it up. We're gonna set up all the software. We're gonna be able to test it out. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. All right, so now this is the sexy box, as you can see. I'm gonna flip it over right over here. And uh, let's turn this around in the back here. It just shows you some of the parts that come in this box in the description. Flip this around and let's open up this box. Let's throw this aside. Turn this around here. Cut this tape right here using my iPhone dongle. Can't find my handy dandy cutting knife thing. Alright, so now I'm gonna do this again. Bam! Alright, so this is the AI White Projects booklet. It shows you everything that you need to know about putting together this kit. It has everything step by step, so it even shows you how to build the box. Very cool. I guess this is some like safety stuff right here. Bam, right there, that's the speaker. We got some of the cardboard right here. We got more of the cardboard. We're gonna be building this. By the way, the cardboard is the actual box we need to put together. The actual voice hat right here. This is the board that we're gonna be using to, to put on top of the Raspberry Pi 3. It doesn't come with the Raspberry Pi, but I'm gonna take my Raspberry Pi 3, the one that I'm not using, and we're gonna use it for this project. This is a voice hat. It goes right on top of the Raspberry Pi, and it's got all its fittings. So let's just take it out of its bag. Right there, voice hat in all its glory. Right here, this is the microphone board that goes on top of the voice hat. Very lovely. I'm gonna put it right on top of the, the board right there. This is the actual button right here. I'm really loving this booklet. It's really nice, actually. I like the fact that it comes with everything you need in this booklet step by step. This is an awesome development kit. And by the way, if I didn't say this already, this is one of the hardest kits to find. If you go on eBay, they're selling for like 100 bucks. It was originally free or like five bucks. And I was lucky to get it for uh, $9 because I have a local uh, micro center and the micro centers, you can't order them and ship it to your house. You have to go to the actual physical location. And I live in New York City and the uh, micro center, the closest one to me had a bunch of them. So I was able to get uh, one for $9, right? If you buy one, you get it for $9. Every other one you buy is going to be uh, 20, 20 bucks, I believe. So I brought two of them. And the second one I'm gonna use in another project, but I freaking love it. So I'll go online and go to your local micro center if you have one near you and see if they have it. All right, so it's time to assemble the electronics. And I got my Raspberry Pi 3 right here, as you can see. Now, it does not come with a Raspberry Pi. You need to have your own Raspberry Pi. And this kit will work for pretty much all the Raspberry Pis. So you have a Raspberry Pi, any Raspberry Pi model will work for this kit. We'll move over this cardboard. We're not gonna set it up right now. We're gonna set up the Raspberry Pi first. First thing we're gonna need to do is install these plastic standoffs. We're gonna do it on this side right over here. Popped in one of the standoffs. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. We only need two of these. All right, so both standoffs are popped in. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is take this hat right here and place it right on top, fit it right on top of our Raspberry Pi. Make sure we get all these pins in on this side right here, as you can see. Pushed it down. Now, this unit is fully assembled. Now, we, all we have to do is install the switch and the speakers and then the microphone and we're good to go. Now, I'm gonna install the speaker onto the hat right here and the speaker wire goes through here and it has a screw thing you need to tighten up the wire. I have this little screwdriver. This is a precision screwdriver. You're gonna need like a precision screwdriver set and I'm gonna tighten the wire. The red cable goes first, then the black cable goes in. All right, they're both in. Now I'm gonna screw them. All right, the speaker is in place. So this is the mic cable. I'm gonna install the mic cable right here. Now this is the button cable, our red button right here. This is like the cable for this. So we're gonna install that right over here. All right, so all the cables are installed. Now we gotta install the cable to the mic. This is the mic cable, and this is the microphone right here. So it's time to install the mic. 
All right, I was gonna set up the button, but we can't install the button right now until we have everything else in the cardboard. The last thing we do is set up the button. So now all I'm gonna do is set up the cardboard. this up one two all right so i'm gonna bring back the raspberry pi and everything raspberry pi goes right here by the way they designed this whole cardboard thing really nicely everything fits in perfectly so whoever designed it they are amazing i'm gonna bring this back here and this is gonna slide right into here so this part goes in first Everything fits in perfectly, by the way. The way they designed it, everything comes out perfectly right here. Speakers in, box is created. Now all's left to do is connect the, this mic. I think I need some tape. And then connect this button to the top. And then connect the wire in the bottom and we're done. Then I gotta take this end and we're gonna just tighten it over here. Like so, buttons in. Now we gotta connect the cables. All right, so white one goes first, goes right here. Then it's the black one right next to it. And on the bottom, it's the blue first. Then it's the pink. The final one is the pink or the red. So the final thing is to tape up the microphone. They want us to use tape for this. All right, so I taped up the microphone. As you can see, this is the microphone. I taped it right over here, right onto the cardboard. And that's pretty much it. Now all we can do, push this in, push this like so. And this part is going to Fold up like so. And this part's gonna go in here. Boom, the box is completely done. All right, so this is the box. As you can see, it's fully assembled. Everything's installed. The box and everything fits perfectly. I got all the ports. I have access to every port on the Raspberry Pi. Every port that we need. The, right there is the HDMI and the power. On this side, we got the USB, the ethernet. Speakers right there, the buttons on top. The box is pretty cool. I absolutely love this kit. Now, all we have to do is uh, download the software, set up the software, connect all the cables, and we're ready to go. All right, so all the cables are connected. I got a keyboard and a mouse. Uh, the internet cable's connected, the HDMI cable's connected, my power cable's connected, and I got the USB dongle for the keyboard and mouse connected. I'm gonna power it up, and I already downloaded the image and saved it onto the SD card and connected it right to the device. If you go to the Google AIY's website, there is a Raspbian image for this project. I downloaded it, I burnt it on the SD card, I connected it to the, to the Raspberry Pi, connected it to the Raspberry Pi, and we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so the next step is actually to navigate to this URL here, aiyprojects.withgoogle.com. Once you're there, I'll leave a link to this in the description. I'm gonna scroll down. There are two development kits here. Uh, I'm gonna buy this one, and uh, we're gonna do a video on this one as well, Vision Tech. This one is build your intelligent camera that you can see and recognize objects using uh, TensorFlow. That sounds cool, so we're gonna do that probably in a week or so. But the project we're working on is the voice kit here. So it's this green one, click on it. Now we're gonna scroll down. This gives you everything that you're gonna need including uh, where to buy. I got mine in Micro Center. Uh, Adafruit has it. Adafruit was sold up when I looked last, but you guys can check. And these are the other links. I, pro If I were to bet, I would say uh, Micro Center would probably be your best bet. Check out Micro Center if there's one near you and uh, you're good to go. Now I'm gonna scroll down. We did everything here. Basically, we got everything done here. What I want to do is download the image, right? So this is the image right here. Under get the voice kit SD image. We want to click this right here. Voice kit SD image. Click on it, right? It's going to start a download. I already downloaded mine and finished. It's basically like a zip file. And we're going to want to unzip the image once we're done. So I'm going to unzip it to my desktop. You could unzip it wherever you want. I'm going to click on OK. It's unzipping right now. If you haven't downloaded a software to burn the image onto the SD card, I recommend Win32 Disk Imager. There are a few other ones, but I like this one. Just uh, Google it. You'll find it. It's free. Download it. Once you finish downloading, you're going to select your drive letter. I believe mine says H. You're going to search for your image you just extracted. I extracted mine to the desktop. I can find it. It's A I Y. Now you have to make sure you select your drive letter. Mine says G. 
And I'm gonna hit right and click on yes. You gotta give it like maybe two to three minutes to finish burning. Okay, so now we finished burning it onto our SD card. Unplug the SD card, plug it into your Raspberry Pi 3. Now we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so we're logged into our Raspberry Pi using the image we just downloaded and installed. And as you can see, there's a few things we can do right now. And the first thing we need to do is actually check the audio and uh, the recording to see if it works. I have my box right here. It's connected to everything. I got the internet connected. I'm powered up right now. Everything you need to connect is connected. All we have to do is test it out now. So the first thing I want to do is to click on this link here where it says check audio. I'm going to double click this. Front. Center. Now it says playing test sound. I already played it. I heard it. So it worked. So it said, did you hear the test sound? I'm going to type in yes. So now it says uh, when ready, press enter and say testing. One, two, three. It's going to test out the microphone now. So I'm going to press enter. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Wow, that was loud. So yeah, it works. Hit Y and press enter. Now to press enter to close. Boom, we just tested out the audio speakers and the microphone they all work fine now we can move on to the next step all right the next step is to open up our browser and uh, we're going to navigate to console.cloud.google.com you got to sign in with your gmail account once you sign in uh we should move on to this step once you see this here we're going to go to over here click on this tab where it says products and service click on it we're going to scroll down to api and services then we want dashboard. We're gonna go all the way to right here to create a new project. Click on it, click on create. I'm gonna give our project a name. I wanna name my project, uh, name mine. And I'm gonna cap it R-P-I-A-I-Y. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna click on create. I'm gonna click on enable API and services. All right, so the next step is to type in Google Assist. I'm gonna click on Google Assistant API. I'm going to click on enable. I'm going to create some credentials. So click on credentials, create credentials. We're going to go down to the second one under API key. It's OAuthint client ID. We want to make sure we configure consent screen right up here. I'm going to give it a name. I'll just call it the AIY underscore pi. Then we hit save. Now we want to click on other and I'm going to name it other client AIY pi. You can name it whatever you want. Click on create. Now we want to download the software. So we're going to go all the way on the right here and we're going to click on this download JSON icon. Click on it and it should start the download, which it did on the bottom left here. Client dot or sorry, client underscore SEC R and the rest of the file name. Once it's finished downloading, we're going to move on to the next step. All right. So once that's finished downloading, we're going to go to this file manager here. All right. We gotta look for the file we just downloaded. It should be in downloads folder. Now we're gonna rename it. So right click it, hit rename. We have to rename this exact, exactly the way I type it right now. So it's A-S-S-I-S-T-A-N-T dot J-S-O-N. Click on okay. Now we're gonna copy this file. We're gonna navigate to the pile folder. We're gonna navigate to the pile directory right here by clicking the pie here. And we're just gonna paste it right here. It's in uh, the home directory pi. So we're just gonna paste it right here. Now we have to navigate to our browser again and navigate to AIY projects dot with google.com again. And it has to be the voice kit. Click on the voice kit. Once you're at this URL, you're gonna, you're gonna type in control F for find, right? Hold on control and press F, then type in uh, then type in activity. We want this link right here. We want to find activity controls. Once you find this link right here, click on it and it should navigate us to the right URL. Now we want to make sure all this stuff is enabled to see everything here. Make sure web and app activity is enabled by pushing it and making sure it's on the right. It's enabled. Now we want to enable location history. It's paused right now by clicking it. It should enable it. I want to turn it on right now. Then we're gonna turn on device information. It's paused right now. We're gonna click on it, click on turn on. Now we wanna also do the same thing with voice and uh, audio activity. Click on it, make sure you turn it on. All right, we finished with the configuration. Now we can move on to the next step. All right guys, all you have to do is actually start it up. It's pretty simple. You have to do this every time you reset your Raspberry Pi. Once you're logged into your Raspberry Pi, on the desktop icon, there's something called start dev terminal. You're gonna double click it. Now, after you double click it, they give you the code right here. All you have to do is copy it from the SRC to the PY. Copy this bit of code right here. And then we're gonna paste it 
onto the command line like so then we're gonna hit enter then bam that's it and your whole setup is ready to go to activate it all you have to do is say okay google and you can see it turned on right now it's red after you say okay google you gotta give it a command so i'm gonna say okay google what's my name sorry i'm not sure how to help uh -oh. but i'm learning more every day okay google what's my name Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Rassam. We'll quickly test it out right now. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Rassam. Where do I live? Hey Google, where do I live? On the website goodreads.com, they say, it's in your town, which is in your state, which is in North America, which is on the planet Earth, which is in the solar system, which is in a galaxy of stars called the Milky Way. Now we're gonna move on to the real demonstration. All right guys, now we're ready to test it out. Everything is set up, everything's ready to go. To activate it, all you have to do is say, hey Google, as you can see it lit up, and it's ready for your response. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Rassam. What's today's date? Hey Google, what's today's date? It is Monday, the 18th of December 2017. Hey Google, what's the time? 7.49. Hey Google, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? According to Wikipedia, the name woodchuck is unrelated to wood or chucking. It stems from an Algonquian or Narragansett name for the animal. So there's that. Hey Google, what's the temperature outside? The current temperature in New York City is 46. It knows I am in New York City, that's pretty cool. It knew my name, it knew uh, the location where I was when I asked it at time. Hey Google, sing a song. Finally it's here, I've been waiting for this chance. I could be on Broadway if only I could dance. Hey Google, how many grains of sand are there in this earth? On the website npr.org, they say, they said, if you assume a grain of sand has an average size and you calculate how many grains are in a teaspoon and then multiply by all the beaches and deserts in the world, the Earth has roughly 7.5x 1018 grains of sand, or 7 quintillion, 500 quadrillion grains. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Everything that I show you, all links will be in the description. I'm gonna do more videos like this. We're gonna, we're gonna build more of these things. We're gonna upgrade this one right here. We're gonna do more projects. We're gonna be able to make this setup uh, control things like our lights, do some crazy things. This is gonna be a series. This is video one where we set this up. We're gonna do upgrades. We're gonna do other stuff. There are other AIY projects and I can't wait to get started with those projects. So that's pretty much for this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmarTech.com and thank you guys for watching.